Fuck yeah. Hello, baby. Hello, nasty. Hello, there. Hello. 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 Hello and uh we got a lot going on today it's it's i'm jay and with me is mark and Hi. uh hopefully Brian will join us later we, we Brian are... is supposed to be with us he said he said if you start early we will do the show together what, what's that wind noise what's what noise did you not hear the like the wind like the uh no, air dude. noise I feel like every episode you just like to bring it to a screeching halt within the i place. love the comment on the background noise so, all right, chat room. Do you hear background noise? If not, then it's a mark issue. Okay, just, just keep talking. Forward. It's fine. Maybe it's me. Go, just it's, go, Jack. I mean, it's it's most likely. Why don't you title this episode "Background Noise"? Okay, just to go, Jack. So Brian was supposed to join us. He's not joining us, or he might be joining us, or I don't know what's happened to him. Um, anyway, if he's not on by the end of the episode, dial nine one one. Yeah. So you you have no idea what happened in the last two weeks, huh? Um, I know lots of things that happened the last two weeks. Um, my kids started fifth grade and second grade. Um, other things happened. Mm-hmm. The Mets lost some games. The Jets are already an embarrassment. I assume those are all the things you're referring to. Yeah, Jay? That, that was so. Well, Jay, Jay, just just tell everyone about my daughter starting second grade. You, Go. you spoiled all my stories, and <laughs> so we're gonna have to end this episode early. Uh, sorry, folks. We um, we thought this was all gonna be full of surprises. This episode. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, you know, the you had a hurricane, right? Um, like two weeks ago? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone had a hurricane two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone around. So, two weeks ago, well, was it a hurricane? I don't know if it was a hurricane here. I guess. Okay. I guess, whatever. So, a hurricane was going to hit landfall. I think by the time it actually hit all of us, it was considered a tropical storm. Ida? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. It was a ton of rain. Um, a bunch of houses around here had some flooding in their basement. We were lucky, and we actually had some, a mysterious puddle of water that we've yet to figure out where how it, exactly that worked out. But generally, we were totally fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but a bunch of houses here had to like, rem- like they had some issues with their basement because it was it was a ridiculous amount of flooding. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, um, no, nothing too bad. Jay. I saw some pictures online. Well, you know what? You can just tell tell your story. But I saw some pictures online posted by your your significant other that indicate that you guys did not have a good experience. So the thing about having a creek right behind your building is it's really good, except if you get record rainfall. There was three inches in an hour. Wait, Jay, are you saying, are you just talking like hypothetically or do you actually have a creek? Uh, I do have a creek. I do have a oh, trip. okay. So mm-hmm. this didn't work out well. So go on. So I was watching the parking lot in the back of the building fill up. I don't know how it filled up. The creek overflowed and the cars outside were uh, completely 100% submerged. So the cars out. Is, so is this, is this parking lot below ground? So we have, no, this is ground level. Well, we have, um, we have parking behind the building. Which is ground level. By the way, it's just that Jay lives in like an apartment building, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, go on. So we have parking behind the building, which is ground level. And so there was four feet of water on ground level. And oh. then... Wait, how... So the so the creek fills up and that overflows to you guys? Because we didn't get four feet of rain, obviously. Well, it happened that time. It hasn't happened any other time. But it was literally the most rain in an hour that we've ever had in the history of like recorded... It was over three inches in an hour. So basically the building's like, we let Jay in. Suddenly the plagues are starting. Make this family leave. So, yeah. So there's an actual parking garage, you know, behind the wall, but there's, you know, outside parking as well. So my my question is, you said just three inches of rain happened. It's an insane amount of rain that happened within an hour. Mm -hmm. But how do you, how does that lead to four feet of rain? I don't how does the car get? Our car has the car get submerged in three inches of rain. I have no idea. Maybe it, there's a, a slope 
from the creek. So okay. like it was all okay. flowing. And then, you know, it hit the, the wall of the building. So then it just starts rising because there's nowhere else for it to go. Fair, fair. So yeah. cars were 100% submerged. So you there's no like drainage, French drain or anything to... There is, but I guess, you know, there was so much so quick. Okay. okay. I mean, there's three inches plus all the overflow plus the downhill. Like it was, you know. So I'm guessing your car was in this rain. In no. This... We are... Oh. We are one of the lucky ones, and we are in an indoor garage, which is, you know, on the other side of the wall that the water was building up in. Oh, okay. That's that's great news. So, so, uh, so my girlfriend. So last two weeks, last two weeks, Jay had a lot of luck. Things went bad for other people. Mm -hmm. Everything went great for Jay. Uh, what's your next story, Jay? Uh, yeah, that, that's my story. So my girlfriend gets home at 10 o'clock. There's no water in the garage. We're in the indoor garage. She takes a shower. She parks in the she parks in the in the uh, in the parking lot with all the water and just parks in four feet of water, right? <laughs> so she parks in the parking garage <laughs> and there's there's nothing. There's no water, not a drop. So this is like ten o'clock. So like ten o'clock. Because if I remember correctly, I remember around ten o'clock being like, "Oh, maybe the storm won't be so bad." Mm -hmm. Yep. And yep. then it got tremendously worse. And I remember my friend who lives in Jersey texting me and being like, holy shit, this is insane. I'm like, and I was like, oh, I think we, I think it just kind of missed us. It's not so bad here. Yeah. Then it got obviously a lot worse. So she goes upstairs. She's coming home from work, takes a shower, goes back down at 1030. So it's 10 o'clock. She gets, she gets in. Yeah. Goes back down at 1030. Uh, elevator's not working. She's like, oh, that's weird. So she goes down the stairs and. Why did she, why did she go back down? To, just to make sure, because she's like, you know, maybe the we, like we got to notice like there could be some flooding in the basement and we're, we're okay. thinking like six inches, you know, we, but we want to make sure. So, she yeah, goes, if you see some flooding, you'll just move your car. Right. So okay. she she goes down the stairs, opens the door, four and a half feet of water. Her car is completely submerged. So she parks in the dry, the one that's dry. Mm -hmm. And then half hour later. Her car is completely submerged. She actually missed it by 10 minutes. Apparently, all the water going up against the building burst a hole in the actual wall of the building and and flooded. 118 people lost their cars just in my building. Um, Jesus. So the, uh... I ran into a guy who was driving out of the parking lot when the wall burst, and he had to floor it because it was like a tidal wave of water coming toward him. It was like an action movie. I was going to say, he's like, he's in a, like an action movie where like, Floor, we're going to beat this. He was um, literally the last one to to make it out. Uh, so I, yeah. I have a question for you and you'll probably get this, but uh, your car floods. Yeah. I assume the car is done. Yeah. Total, uh, okay. all every car down there, total loss. Okay. Does the, what does the insurance company do for you? The insurance company says. Is this part of the story or is this like a, just a side note? It could be part of the story. The insurance company says in the our area about 2000 people lost their cars so we have to wait for the uh, the towing company and it's going to be a while because they're trying to deal with hundreds of cars at this point what it, what do they mean they're going to take a while for them to get your car but like they're going to get cut you a check right but they can't cut us a check until they do an assessment on the car and they can't do an assessment ah. until it's in the lot where they do the assessments. Fair, fair. Their, their, their position is just basically, we understand you lost your car, but until we see some physical proof and we're happy to come pick it up, but there's a lot of cars for us to pick up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's sucks, but that's kind of a, not an unreasonable position, like in a just kind of catastrophe. So it actually got towed two days ago. When was the storm? Two weeks ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you guys have been without a car for the last two weeks. We got a rental. We got a rental. Is So my, my question I was going to ask you is, the flooding destroys the car. Do you get a new car? Like, what do you get, basically, in the sense of, like, the car? I don't know how much your car is worth. Let's just say your car is worth 20 grand. Yeah. You get you get 20 grand for a new car. You get what's, what's worth net. Like, did it depreciate? You get the depreciated value. Well, they, 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 do, they do an assessment on it. So her car had two payments left. <laughs> of course it did. So um, they did an uh, assessment. They said it's, oh, is it. Wait, it's a lease. No, it was a buy. Oh, the red buy, buy. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but of course, of course, you have two payments left. 
Yeah, um, of course, of course. Uh, so basically, they they said that it's going to be worth like seventeen thousand. So now, with you know, it's our choice: do we buy a car for seventeen? Do we buy a new car and then just pay the difference? Like you know, whatever what, you want to do. What was it? Which what was it originally worth? Uh, Jason, like a hundred thousand dollars. That Ferrari was amazing. I I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I guess you guys bought the car, right? Yeah, yeah. How many How many years ago did you buy the car? Uh, six, five or six. What, what kind of What kind of What kind of car was it? It was a 2014 Rav Four. Oh, okay. Um, so it's, that's probably around 26 to 28. My guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she's gonna get like 17 back. So she'll probably just buy the newest model and start new car payments. Awesome. Yeah. Good for you. That's great. I'm glad things are working out. Jay, yeah. I, I thought you were done with the Black Cloud, and yet you brought brought to your building. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's oh, that wasn't the bad news. I, that wasn't the story. I, I feel like that's a lot of bad news right there, and it gets worse. Well, that was some of it. That was some. So she got a rental. And... Wait, how 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 pissed off were you guys? Or what was your like? Were you guys like? Well, like, how well did you take this? On a scale of zero to 10, with 10 being just cursing, like, just could not stop cursing, where were you guys in this? I would say, considering there was two payments left, she took it a lot better than I thought. She's not taking it well, but I was expecting, like, I might need to get a hotel room for a couple days. But, like... (laughs) I am not responsible for the rain! (laughs) Right. Jay, you son... I cannot believe this always happened! I, 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 I don't fuck, I didn't build the reinforcement walls. I didn't. I am not God. Right. Apparently, like, you're not. <laughs> somehow, this is going to be my fault. But uh, no, it, it it went okay. So she she gets a she gets a rental. You know, uh, Jay Jay, if um maybe it would be easy to afford this if your investment of Dogecoin didn't suck. <laughs> so the oh, it, it's um it's a I, I don't know. Uh, Explorer, I think there's like you know three rows of seats. And uh, I, by the way, if you want to get like a sedan, you can get one for like you could save some money and get like one for twenty two, twenty three thousand. Right? Yeah, I don't know. It's whatever. She whatever. Wants, whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, she got the car. It's it's brand new. It's nice. Uh, the the back, the third row in the back, the seats are down. So and she parked this in four feet of water. Also, she she goes over her one person in the building lost two cars. Jesus. They had one in the outside lot and one in the inside lot. Well, at least the one in the inside lot should be fine. Yeah, exactly. What's what's that noise? Oh shit! <laughs> so she drives over a friend's place. Honey, up. I just bought us. I put all their money into fifty cars. They're all parked downstairs, and it, it, everything be fine as long as we survive the night. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, she drives over a friend's house to show her the the rental, and she lifts up the back row of seats. And there was a plate of like meat that somebody had put on the seat and then put the seat down. And meat? Yes. Like rotting. Did, like she, did, liquid. You, guys, did you guys smell this? Well, it was a little bit of a smell, but I thought it was like new leather smell. Uh, it's weird. New leather and dead bodies smell the same. Well, the thing is with the seat down, it was covering like 95% of the smell. So when, when she lifted it though, it was like here at Ford, our leather is so great it could cover the smell of a dead body, mobsters. So yeah, we had to be like, yeah, about that rental. It's there's like a, a dead body in the back seat, pretty much. Is I, of course, is the insurance company paying for the rental, or are you guys paying for the rental? We're paying, but we have like uh, like an amount. Like okay, so my question, reason I asked that is, do you go back there and go, hey? Um, you gave us something with uh, something dead in the car. Mm-hmm. How about this is free? They gave negotiate like, that. They gave like I don't know, five percent off, and I don't <laughs> here's know, an air 10%. freshener. Go fuck yourself. The, the, I mean, two thousand people lost their cars. That's that's the car. That's the one car that's left. So, oh wait, you can't even like get a new car. You're just stuck with that. Like, that's little, like, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You're lucky it's not a whole family of dead meat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so so that's, did they clean it? Did they clean it for you released? 
No, she no. she cleaned it. She's been wiping with like every morning she gets in or like wipes with Clorox wipes and like it's, oh. it's the smell's almost gone. But like there's nothing else that can be done about that. What else can go wrong? Well, like I, unless they give me like a, a rental with a rotting cadaver in it, I should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the only problems we had. Jay, is your is your black cloud taking steroids? You might want to just check into maybe the performance enhancing enhancing drugs are probably going to that thing system. It's almost like it was just building up for like because four months like nothing happened. Yeah, that. it's like yeah, let them have a little bit of fun. Like he'll get a new job, they'll get a new apartment, everything will be fine until I emerge. <laughs> She's literally bringing over three Buddhist monks to exercise this apartment. Well, I'm sorry, say come again. <laughs> Yes, she's really doing um, that. She's like, "Fuck this! I am exercising this apartment." Wait, I, 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 so two things. First of all, mm-hmm. do do you believe that the exorcism will help? It can't hurt, right? And 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 you guys lived in the place that you complained about for many years in Queens, and she never thought to bring the Buddhist monks over there. Well, you know, they are like fifteen minutes from here, not close to Queens. I mean, we'll do an exorcism if we don't have to drive very far. <laughs> I don't know. So what happens in the exorcism? exorcism? I don't know. I'll find out. Do you Maybe. have to pay for this or is it like uh, just free of charge? No, it's not. It's not like the Catholic Church. They'll, they'll actually do nice things without like having you pay for it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Can, can we, can we, can we, uh, can we see how the exorcism would, would go, Jay? I guess. Um... Um, um, what, what, what are you doing? I, I'm trying to haunt this apartment and you're, you're just humming. Um, you're, you're ruining my concentration. I'm trying to make shit break. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to call plagues and you're just humming. Um, be God, evil spirit of the toe hair. Be gone. I, I rather like it here. I think I'm going to stay. Um, um. We will put, I, I don't know. What, what's, what's next? Jay? Okay. So that's it for the car stuff. We'll move uh, on. There's, there's more. There's, a, there's, 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 this is a big two weeks in the sense of like your car flooded and you had rotting meat in your car. I, I'd say like that's a solid two weeks of stories. There you go. Everything's good. So while all this is going on, the, um, you know, like that dish that goes on the microwave. Did the black cloud get you sued for an abortion in Texas? <laughs> you know that that dish that uh, goes on the microwave. You put your plate on it. It's like the the glass dish that like. On a side note, have you seen there are some microwaves that have like a metal tray? And I was told you can't have metal in the microwave, but apparently there's some kind of metal tray you can have in a microwave. My last job, a coworker had his food in aluminum foil. And put it in the microwave and turned it on. And I'm just looking at him, and he looks back at me, and then it starts sparking. And I'm like, "Yeah, you want to, <laughs> you know, do?" And he waited. It almost like set a fire. And then he's like, "Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that." I'm like, "Yeah, maybe, maybe you should not do that." That's what happens. If you put tin foil in it, it will start a fire. But I, I have you. Have you not seen there? You seen a microwave where like there's a metal tray in it? I have not seen that. Oh, no, there's legitimately, there are metal, it looks like a metal tray. I don't know what exactly it's made out of. And I've seen that and been like, how does this microwave defy microwave, microwave laws of physics? Anyway, yeah, which, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to, instead of telling your story, do you want to explore that topic for the rest of the show? I can Wikipedia it. It'll be, it'll be an amazing topic. <laughs> Go on with your microwave, Jay. Yes, there's a, there's a plate on the bottom of the microwave that spins. Why I don't know why it spins, but I, uh, I guess that helps with cooking. You would think it would help with cooking, but whenever you microwave stuff, there's always like part of it that's lava hot and part of it that's frozen. Like so, I don't know what the spinning's doing, but it's not helping with that issue. Well, they yes, it's not. They always that's what they always say. Also, for like a baby, um, you don't microwave their their milk uh, or formula because uh, I, I, was, I thought you were gonna say like don't microwave the baby. You gotta like rotate it. You gotta rotate the baby. <laughs> Do not put the baby in tin foil before you put it in the microwave. And you get um, yeah, you got a thirty seconds at a time. You got to flip it over, or else it just gets cold on one side. All all I know is I I prefer to put the baby in the crock pot. It just comes out much better. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
No, but they tell you not to because then the milk will have like spots of like could be really hot. Like it basically could burn the baby, basically, if you put it if you put it in the microwave. Hi, Andrew says the new microwaves don't spin. The heat comes evenly from the base. Okay, well, apparently the Australian microwaves are, are working all fine. Well, our That's microwave, a- I don't know if it spins or not, but it has a plate. So I lift up the plate. And Ours, my, my spins as well. It's in my, uh, my kingdom, I live in here. And, and there's <laughs> nothing but rust under the plate. I've never seen rust in a microwave. Um, also, all the plates I've seen have been like glass, clear. Mm-hmm. How does rust attach to glass? It's not on the, the plate. It's under the plate, like the base of the... The floor oh, of the microwave. The base. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what a hellscape did you move to, Jay? So I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> so we bought this, um, we bought this, is this apartment. A, this is the apartment itself. Did it come with the microwave or is this your microwave? Okay. So the lady was like, I renovated the kitchen. Everything in the kitchen's brand new. So, microwave rust. I don't know how you rust the microwave, especially within like 30 days. So, <laughs> So then I go, I'm like, all right. Do you, do you think the, the so you're, you're accusing her of the microwave, of, of leaving the rust? Absolutely. She lived there here. Then nobody lived here. Then I lived here and I didn't do it. So. Jay, how dare you accuse me of this? Jay, everything was renovated in 1945 and it's brand new. What year is it now? It's not 1946. It's. Yeah, I need a home. <laughs> she said that she once put the microwave in the ocean. It seems like it. So then I'm like, all right. I was microwaving rust. What do you do with your rust? That's how you get rust off stuff. You, you take rusty stuff, you put it in the microwave, you hit go, and you, and you just kind of duck. <laughs> so then I'm like, all right, I'm not going to heat up any food. So I don't want to, I don't know if the rust particles so are going to. You're, you're, your Go old on. apartment was still filled with black mold. Your new apartment just has rust everywhere. Just in the microwave. But the so I'm like, all right, I'm going to put my food back. I'm not going to microwave it in there. The fridge will not cool down below like 45 degrees. Since you've moved in? Uh, it's, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So, Jay, you know what I said? Everything was renovated. I'm what you call a liar. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So, all right. So now we're down in the microwave and the fridge. Your refrigerator, you cannot get it below 45 degrees. It gets down to like 42 if I have almost nothing in it, which is not okay. ideal. That's not the point of a fridge is to have an Yeah. Appetite. I think you're supposed to leave it at 40 or a little bit below 40, actually. Yes. Yeah. What about the freezer? What's the freezer? Freezer's at? fine. Um, sometimes if you, uh, I, I, I'm sure you've already acted on trying to figure this out, but uh, if you move the refrigerator away from the wall, and you kind of vacuum, like you clean behind it sometimes the dust. Yeah, anyways. yeah, no, I did all that. That did not work. Okay. So now. Sometimes it helps just to not have old shitty uh, things in your kitchen. <laughs> that yeah. They, uh, that, yeah. No, it's like a newly renovated kitchen. So. Um, Does it really look new? Yeah, no, the cabinets are definitely new. Um, the fridge still had the blue plastic on it. Uh, <laughs> so. Wait, the fridge had the new plastic on it. So, like, it what? Like, things are just. Wait, wait. I've got it. I figured it out. Mm. That M. Night Shyamalan movie. The old. one on the beach where everyone gets old. That's your apartment. That's my kitchen. Everything in your apartment just gets really old really fast. So <laughs> This microwave is only 30 days old. In sh- M. Night Shyamalan's world, it's 30 years old. Aha. That, this is like the shitty sequel where it just happens to like appliances. <laughs> so, oh, my God. My, my, my juicers. 10 years old now. Look how different it is. <laughs> so now I'm like, all right, I have no microwave. I have no fridge. What else do you do? Essential things. In the... By the way, so since you moved in, there were issues. Because you know, how long have you been in there for? Well, we didn't notice the microwave right away because we didn't lift up the plate. Fine. How, when, when did you move in? Uh, end of April. Okay. It's like so since April, you've been operating with a shitty refrigerator? Uh. We didn't notice for probably the first month because you don't, you know, we're like, the stuff feels a little warmer, but maybe it's just because it's a different fridge. Uh, so then like. Oh, this, this refrigerator heats my food up. 
<laughs> so like must be different here. Two two months in, I I ordered like a, a, a like a fridge thermometer, so I put it in there, and that's when I noticed. Um, doesn't your fridge already have a thermometer? Mm-mm. No, it, there's no there's no thermometer on the refrigerator. No, like in. No, we don't have a rich person's refrigerator. It's just I, every refrigerator comes with a thermometer. No, we have knobs one through five, cool to cooler, and there's no there's no thermometer thing. It, are there just ice cubes on the bottom of it? The ice cubes are melting. This is how we you have an ice box, Jay. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. Okay. Okay. But it's weird, especially for new appliances, not to have that. But go on. So we have now we're down the microwave and the fridge. So what's left? The stove. So I'm like, all right. Oh my god! <laughs> so I, I figured it out. Mm-hmm. The, the rest of the animal that was in your rental is at the stove. No. So I go to to heat up some stuff. Oh, I got, it. I got. This, wait, before you, uh, the stove cools stuff off. No, but what else can go wrong with the stove? <laughs> it could have mold or rust. It has rust because it's aging in the this really terrible M Night Shyamalan, M Night Shyamalan movie. Or I could smell gas. Oh, and Jay's like, I mean, we smelled gas since April, but what are you going to do? <laughs> no, that was new. So I started smelling gas. By the way, if, if Bri if Bri was on the episode, would he ask to come over if the gas is, if he could smell gas? Yeah, Bri's just like <laughs> puts his mouth on the hose. <laughs> He's like, COVID didn't get me. Come on, come on, come on. Over. Take me out. Okay, go on. So I start smelling gas and I call. How, how, how? When, when did you start smelling gas, by the way? You've been in since April, okay? So, like, this is much more recent. Yeah, yeah. This is after the flood, like, let's <laughs> so, say. I love, I love that you're, like, after the flood, as if, like, you live in, like, a biblical apartment. I know. So, let's say, like, three days after the flood, I start smelling gas. But, it, like, it comes and goes. So, I'm like, did I smell it? Because then I'll go back, and, I'll, like, I won't smell it. So, like, uh, so, the, so the next day, I'm like, all right, I definitely smell gas. But I notice okay. I notice at like midnight. Do you know the gas also has no actual smell? It smells like rotten eggs. No, so they they put something in the gas so you'll smell it, but like oh. actual gas does not smell. Oh well, that was nice though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They well, they want they want you know when there's a gas leak or else like you're gonna die. So, mm-hmm. so um, I I it's like midnight, so I call Con Ed. I'm like I smell gas. She's like, like I, I kind of like the smell of rotten eggs. I mean, they get like smell of rotten eggs. I don't know why they, these are these are nice eggs. I like this. I mean, I'm it was better it. than the rental car. But <laughs> I so I they're like, all right, go outside right now. So it's like a work night, and I'm like, fuck. Now I'm like outside waiting for Con Ed. They they come in and they're like, yeah, it's definitely a gas leak. And so he's like, I'm turning off your uh, your appliance. So you should be okay. Just call a plumber. Do you know do you know how to turn off the gas? I do. Like, now. Or did you, okay. I did yeah. not. But yeah, I I I, I wouldn't it wouldn't have been obvious to me either. So go on. And so he leaves. The next day I still smell gas. So I don't know what he did, but he didn't turn off the gas. He's like righty tighty, lefty loose. Shit, I screwed that one up again. <laughs> so I'm thinking it's the uh the tube that goes from the wall to the stove. So I, I order one. And then I called. You're gonna, you're gonna replace the tube yourself? No, I I, I have a friend who's. Wait. Go on. I have a friend who's good with that kind of stuff. So I invited him over the next day, and he's gonna. Do oh, it. you thought we were playing poker, but I had other plans for us. <laughs> uh, I, I have a question though. You smelled gas again. Why not just call the PSAG guy again? Because this is an important thing. Or I don't actually. What what what, what what's your gas guy? I don't know why I said, said mine, but what's yours? Uh, Con Ed, because they're Con like, yeah, yeah, sorry. they're like, we can't turn off the gas. You need a plumber, and you need to like replace the hose. We can't right, do but it. you're like, you're like, I smell gas. This is this is not something I should like. Live. This is they can't figure out how to talk. They they can't do anything about this. Apparently not. Oh, Con, 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 can, can we? So my friend comes over and he's hello, getting, hello. He's, I'm, I'm, this is Con Ed. Uh, yeah, you didn't help me last time. I'm hanging up on you. Goodbye. Hey, do you smell gas again? Yeah, of did course you? I do. You didn't do shit. Ha ha! Got me. <laughs> so I, I got, got you with the gas thing again. Oh, we we come with your home. We say we're going to turn it off, but uh, yeah, that that was a good one, man. So I have my friend come over, 
And he did, he's like a handyman. That's what he does. So he's like, I'm like, can you just change this hose? And he's like, absolutely. So he goes to change it. That's when we realize the gas is not off. And now the whole apartment is like stinks of gas. So we have the windows open and wait, but I thought you said the gas wasn't off. I mean, I thought you said the gas was, I, the gas was off to the stove, but not the whole apartment. Kind of said the gas was off to the stove, which is the only place in the apartment that the gas goes to. But your theory was that the tube that comes from the wall, the gas is still going to that tube. It just doesn't come out of the tube. But it was. No, I'm saying like when you turn the gas in theory, mm-hmm. you turn the gas off. Yeah. It's, it's just like a hose. The gas goes to like wherever it would go out, but it's not leaving because it's tight. You, you, you shut off the valve. Yeah, he didn't turn off the valve. I thought Khan had turned off the valve. He didn't. He he came into your apartment, said, yeah, that's gas. Okay, go to sleep forever. He, he must have came in and went do 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 and like banged on some shit and then said I did it. And he did nothing. He did nothing. But, by the way, could you call Con Ed and just say, hey, almost got murdered by your repairman. Um, can I have my, 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 my gas for free? So what I do is I call the the co-op office and I say, okay. can you turn off the gas to my apartment? Because I need to, I have a gas leak and I need the gas off. And they're like, we don't turn the gas off to the apartment because the, um, it shuts off the whole building. So we can't do that. Did, and, you, did you tell them there's a gas leak and the entire, we might have a giant like fire. Um, and dead bodies if you don't shut this off. I did. I, I, I did. And so they send up the super. So while we're waiting for the super, where where you guys have your windows open, you're not just huffing the gas. The windows are open. The windows are open. Okay. Everybody is in you know the other end of the apartment uh, except for me and this guy. And we're we're switching the microwave out because I bought okay. I, I bought the same make and model. So we're just swapping the microwave. Okay, you bought it and you that sucks also by the way. Like, but go on. So the super comes up and he's like, what are you doing? And I said, well, we're switching the microwave, but there's a gas leak. I need you to turn off the gas. And he just looks at the, uh, the valve and he's like, can't do it. And I'm like, why not? And he's like, well, I don't have like the tool to turn it off. And I, I'm like, can you turn off the, you know, I said the same thing. You turn off the building. And he's like, no. And so he's like, you need to call a plumber. So did you ever call a plumber up at this point? So I'm getting to it. So I call back <laughs> the office. When I had another friend who's good with um, watching YouTube videos on plumbing. So I call up the office again and I said, look, I have a gas leak. I need to call a plumber to get this, this pipe changed. And the lady at the office said, that's a renovation you need to have a plumber come over during the week. This is a Saturday, by the way. During the week, between 9 and 4, and you have to fill out a renovation package, and the package has to get approved by the board. Did you tell her you have a life and death situation? I said, you understand that gas is literally leaking into my apartment right now. And, and she goes, you have to fill out the package, and, and it has to get approved by the board. And she stonewalled me, and I was like, I have a gas leak. And she's like, yeah, I understand. You have to get a plumber and it has to be during the week. And she just kept repeating that. And I was like, holy shit, you would rather the building blow up than break your stupid co-op rules. And it's not even a renovation. It's a change of a a pipe. Yeah. I, this is, um, so, okay. So I don't, I, I, I'm trying to think of what you could even like, I'd be like, I'd call the police. I'd be like, this person is trying to kill me because they refuse to let me turn off the gas in the apartment. So after this, I, I don't even know. Yeah. After this, the super then tells on me because he sees us replacing the microwave and he thinks we're doing a renovation. So I get a voicemail from the co-op office that says you were doing a renovation on the weekend. We're billing you five hundred dollars um, because you broke all, the rules. Just like I'll move out. I'll move out of the city. <laughs> I don't have bad neighbors. Everything's gonna be fine. I found this great apartment. It's a co-op. What could go wrong? The thing is, the neighbors are great. The co-op board is fine. Is this this lady who runs like the management office is insane, and she just likes fucking with people, and she's like evil. 
So, <laughs> so you know, I call her up now. You're she, like, wait, are you the same voice from the PC, the uh, the Con Ed? Oh yes, I'm everyone. Everything you pick up the phone, Jay, it's just me. <laughs> so I get the I get the voicemail on Saturday, and they're not answering their phones till Monday. So now I have this. Wait, five, who are you calling? Who, who's who's this? For the co-op office. So now I have this five hundred dollar charge hanging over my head, and I'm I'm pissed off as hell because I wasn't doing a renovation. And so I have to wait until Monday to even resolve that. And um, so you eventually, tell them there's a microwave that like is broken, basically that you guys gave me when I bought when I got when I bought bought the place. That's what I, I said, and she said, "Yeah, but it, it's an over the stove microwave." So that's how I knew the the uh, maintenance guy oh, told yeah. on me. I'm like, "How would she know that?" And I said, "Look, it's the same make and model." I, u- I didn't drill holes. I used the same screws. I used a hand screwdriver. There was no noise. That is not a renovation. And, yeah. And she's like, you can't do it on the weekend. I said, look, it's a swap. It's not a renovation. That does not count. And I, I was like, you know, and then she backed down finally. I think she tries to pick on people. And then if you don't back down, they get their 500 bucks. So I'm like, all right, back to the gas leak that's still ongoing in my apartment. <laughs> back to my slow demise. She is, she's like, again... You, isn't there I, I have a question isn't there someone you can call from the city uh, about a gas leak like there's gotta be can you call I uh, action news or like something be like call a reporter and be like there's a gas leak in my apartment well, let me get rid of the gas leak I mean how insane is this I'm literally like, like there's gas leaking into my apartment and she's like yeah you didn't fill out the proper form so <laughs> you know I don't care if the building blows up can't, can't you be like you're a slumlord, then, if you're allowing gas leaks. Oh, th- yeah, that's that's a whole nother thing. So, you should get Joe Pesci from the movie The Super to come live in your apartment. <laughs> so, I, I I'm trying to find a plumber. Uh, it's actually really hard uh, to find a plumber during the On week the between nine and four. No, because now it's Monday. Now it's Monday. Uh, wait, you would? Been... I have a question. Yeah. What are you doing with this guy? Like, you're just like like, hey, I'm gonna watch a show on Netflix. With the gas leak, I the basically just now a member of your apartment. I unplugged the microwave. I left the windows open. Like it was not like a a, a crazy gas leak. It was kind of like, you know, if you sniffed around near the stove, you could kind of smell it. So it was like, I had a CO two thing like plugged in next to the wall, and it wasn't Ma- going off. Ma'am, so. my apartment's actually on fire. What do you mean getting firemen on the weekend is a renovation? The apartment's <laughs> on fire. Yeah. I, I have to, you can't let someone up, like, service, the goddamn fire, we're fire, I'm, I'm on fire, ma'am. <laughs> so then I call, I call, I'm trying to call plumbers, and I call her back again, and I'm like, look, I'm having trouble getting a plumber uh, during the week, and she's like, plumbers are available during the week. I said, yeah, but I also have a job, and it's not easy for me to just take off all day, and she's just like, plumbers are available during the week, you can do it, and she, like, hung up on me. So... Now I'm calling plumbers. I set one up for... This woman's really just an awful person to deal with. Yeah. No, she's she's horrible. Uh, during the flood, I ran into... You should, you should get, take that dead meat from the car and uh, drop it off at her, her apartment. During the flood, I, I ran into somebody who's actually friends with her. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm friends with that lady. She's horrible to work with. So, like, even her friends are like, you don't oh want to deal God. with this lady. She's like, I'm friends with her out of work. But when it comes to, like, anything with the building, like, she's the worst. And that was, like, her best friend. <laughs> Jay's just sitting on the phone being like, I can't believe I called her cut two hours ago. This is going to go downhill from here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so then I, I finally scheduled uh, a plumber to come over for like two days from but, now. But by the way, um, how many days can you live with a gas leak? Is there like an over under a days where they say it's safe to live with a gas leak? Well, I know you could live at least seven. <laughs> so I found that out. Uh, so... So he's coming. The plumber said he could come three days from now. So now I got to wait another three days with the gas leak. So I go to work the next day. As soon as I get to work, my phone rings and they go, we have an opening. We can come over. So I had to immediately ask my boss if I could like leave immediately and then work from home the rest of the day. So that was fun, you know, because I just started my new job. I don't want to like be a pain in the ass. So Um, the guy. Is there any. I I, I cannot believe they were just fine with you living with a gas leak. No one gives. I mean, anyone else, people do something about. I, I can't even believe how little what, what, anyone. 
every, the entire world around Jay basically does not give a shit that he has a gas station. Believe me, when when all this is completely settled, I am writing a letter to the board, the co-op board, and I'm telling them that the office did not care about a gas leak. Uh, they're they're definitely like this isn't over. You're like, Jay, you like you're like the embodiment of a town in Michigan where they put lead in the water. Right. Like you're you're <laughs> So the the guy comes over, he turns on the stove and the you know, the flames go on. Which is like I'm like, okay, yeah, there's the Kana guy did nothing. There's still gas going into the stove. So then he, he By the way, by the way, the guy shuts off the gas. You never even like turn that on like to see if gas is coming out. No, I'm scared shitless. I'm not going in the kitchen. Like, I'm ordering takeout. I'm eating in the bedroom. Like, I'm not going in that half of the apartment. Like, I'm freaked okay. out. So, uh, then, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Anthony's like, this isn't even over. Holy shit. So, I can't believe how long the story is. Like, I'm not, I'm not, this is good, Just, but keep going. I, I told you it was going to take the whole episode. So, the, the, he comes over. He turns on the stove. The flames are on. Then he goes to the valve, and he's turning it off. And then the flames disappear. And I'm thinking, like, why didn't the Con Ed guy do that, like, four days ago? So now the gas is actually off. And why Why? Why didn't you call Con Ed back and just be like, there's still gas on in my apartment? Because they told me they couldn't really do shit anyway. Well, first of all, okay, actually, I skipped a part. So the day after Con Ed came, I, I smelled the gas. So I had, a, I had a plumber come over. and he, Wait, you had a plumber come over? Before all this, a plumber came? No, okay, so there was Con Ed, then there was my friend, and then there was a plumber. So the plumber came over. Wait, but is there, there's, there's not two plumbers, there's one plumber. No, the, the, the guy who actually turned the gas off is the second plumber. What, so what the fuck was the first plumber doing? So the first plumber. You, the first plumber's just giving you an estimate? I estimate that you have about seven days to live? The, the first plumber comes over and he's like, you need the building to shut off the gas. So that's when I called the building again and I said, you told me to call a plumber. The plumber's telling me that you have to turn off the gas. And they're like, no, the plumber has to turn off the gas. And you let the plumber leave while this is going on? Because he's like, I am not turning off the gas. The building has to do it. And the building's like, I'm not doing it. The plumber has to do it. So I'm like, okay. Do they, do they do, by the way, just curious. Do the plumber and the building have a policy on your death, like a life insurance thing? <laughs> I, I'm number one on their death pool. So, so the plumber leaves. So that's when I called the second plumber, and the second plumber actually turned off the gas, which Con Ed... For my, the building or for use your apartment? For my apartment, which Con Ed, my friend, and the first plumber all did not do. The second plumber actually turned off by the, the way, gas. By the way, I can't believe your buddy who has no training whatsoever in plumbing couldn't figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're good with stuff. You can fix the gas in my apartment. <laughs> so, yeah. So then he does the spray. He has some spray thing he puts on the hose and if it bubbles there's a leak okay so, so no bubbles so the hose i wasted money buying a new hose but how much how much is the hose can't be that it's like 40 45 bucks or something uh, okay yeah i'm kind of annoyed but um so, so what was the issue so he's like it's either gas coming from inside the wall in which case the building's fucked or your stove is has a leak in the actual stove oh so he turned. Why didn't they? So no one turned off the goddamn leak gas going to the stove. Not until this guy. Yeah, the fourth person that showed. Did up. you? Do you know how to do that? Actually, now? if you count the uh, the super and the maintenance guy, the sixth guy to show up. No one could figure out how to turn off. Like, and Jay, do you know how easy is it? Now that you know, how easy is it to turn this off? If you have the right wrench, because it was it was a nut and it, it was it was it's tight. So you needed one of those like monster wrenches to do it. But like okay. if you have that, the guy was just like burp off. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah. So he's like, it's either either in the wall, and or clearly it's clearly it's not in the wall. Okay, this has to be your stove. I didn't know it. Neither of us knew at the time. The 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 plumber thought it was the wall, but he called his boss, and the boss was like, no, it's the stove. And okay. So he's like, I'm writing the stove. Personally, I think it's the wall. I said, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait another day. And if I don't smell it anymore, it's the stove. If I smell it, it's the wall, and then the whole building's coming down. So the gas smell went away. It's the stove. So the microwave, the stove, and the fridge. Shout out to GE, 
because all this stuff is about five months old and it all broke right away. They're all GE I, appliances. Is it is this shit covered? Like, is GE going to send you new appliances? So GE is going to come over. This is, there should be like a warranty on this shit. So I call GE. and GE, we bring good things to life and kill a giant. I call GE and they're like, yeah, it's covered under warranty. Uh, we're going to come over. Apparently, GE sources their uh, their maintenance out to like third party places. Yeah, that so, makes sense. So I'm wait Friday. I'm like, all right, GE is coming today. I look at my email. They canceled. No explanation. So I call up GE and they're like, we need to reschedule for next week. I said, all right. Well, you were coming for the fridge, add the stove because now the stove's busted. So this week they're coming for the fridge and the stove. But my doorbell rings Friday. And the people who canceled showed up anyway. Okay. But the ticket was only in for the fridge. So they looked at the fridge. They said it was a broken fan. So they're ordering a, a new fan part, and they're going to replace it, and the fridge will be fixed. Two days from now, I'll find out about the stove. But I, the, here's the thing. If the stove is broken, which it and is. The mic- and the microwave. How did the microwave? Did you ask them that? I bought, I bought a new microwave. Fuck it. I, I, need, I need something to eat with. Like, <laughs> I have to have something to eat with. Holy shit. So how is it possible? So I again I think M Night Shyamalan just filming a movie in your kitchen. That's just the only explanation I have. I know. So here's the thing: they have not finished fixing the garage, which is where all the deliveries come through. So when they come Wednesday and they say, "Yeah, the stove is broken. We need to get you a new one," they can't deliver it because there's no deliveries allowed in the building until they fix the garage. When are they fixing the garage? They're still dead cars in there so they they got to get all the cars out first then they got to fix the garage and then you can get deliveries so who knows i'm gonna be able to wait you can't get any deliveries till then it makes no sense it's it's that bitch she's you know she's making like packages from amazon or just like no, giant like, things? And anything big has to go through the the garage and you know this lady is just making up her own rules and she's like can't go through the empty garage that has like 10 cars left um why why can't they go through the garage because she likes ruining people's lives so she just said there's no deliveries until the garage is 100 percent fixed and i'm like now would be the best time to get deliveries because there's no cars in there there's going to be 240 cars in there when it gets fixed what Wouldn't... the fuck yeah this woman is horrible yeah yeah she's the worst is it is it weird that she got her job the exact same day you moved in <laughs> She has to be friends with my old boss. She just has to be. Oh my god! It's like you're haunted, guy. She is your black cloud. Yeah. She so, took over a host. So that was uh, two of my five stories, and we're just about out of time. Holy shit! <laughs> your microwave, your oven, and your kitchen and your refrigerator are all done within five months of the. Did she just buy like just the stick the blue to the blue tape and put it on the things? And these are really old items. She was probably like, "Hey, GE, what's your cheapest shittiest product? I'm gonna make it. I, I'm gonna say it's new, but I'm gonna buy the shittiest quality I could possibly get." I mean, this is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the refrigerator, though, that's at least that repair is covered, and the oven, you're not. You're getting. You're gonna get a new oven. How does there a leak in the oven? I have no idea. I've never heard of anything like that in my life, but apparently how, so first, like, how did how did these three a refrigerator that breaks right away, an oven that slowly tries to kill you with a gas leak, and a microwave that defies the laws of physics and rust all happen in your apartment? I think I think you're you're the you don't the exorcism can't happen fast enough. Seriously. Seriously. Holy shit. You guys are fucking haunted. So yeah, that's that was my last two weeks. Holy shit. Any anything else happened in the building? Are you fighting with the like what are you fighting with the building about this? I, what's, the, what's, the, what's the resolution here? Like the building is like they're not charging you for the five hundred dollars for the for the renovation of the weekend. That's not happening. I'm not telling you no. Uh, I I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll see when I get my maintenance bill at the end of the month. But as my impression after getting off the phone with her is that I talked her off the uh, the ledge and we're, I'm not getting built. Oh, it's definitely being. Built. I didn't tell her about the second. That's definitely going in the bill. 
I didn't, I didn't tell her about the second plumber. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell them when they replace the fan because there's no reason to. She's going to call it a renovation. It's not replacing a fan, whatever. Jay, Jay, but um, I think you did a renovation. I'm not. I'm, 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 no, 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 no! Don't, don't, Jay! You removed gas from the apartment, and that gas was there. You have to live with the gas, or it's a renovation. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not going to tell them about G on Wednesday. I'm going to have to tell her about the delivery uh, if they replace the stove, and we'll see. That'll be the next fight, I guess. Aye, uh, um, but do you have to do a. So them replacing the stove, they're are they going to call that like a renovation during it, during the week? If they do that, is that somehow a charge? They're not going to call that a renovation, but they're going to call that a delivery, and there's no deliveries allowed. So I don't know how this is going to get resolved, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, so basically, you 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 had come over the worst plumber and con ed people possible. Who couldn't even know how to turn off gas. That first plumber also wanted to charge me $250 to change the hose once the building turned off the gas. Did you pay him to come there? Because you have to usually pay plumbers for showing up. No, that was a free assessment. But the okay. uh, the other, the second plumber who actually fixed the job, was it was like a $60 like show up fee. But he fixed usually, it. Usually it's a fee. Yeah, I was so happy that thing. he fixed it. I gave him another 20 I was like, hooray. Like. I, I was gonna pay two hundred and fifty dollars anyway, so like, what's eighty bucks? Yeah, I guess yeah. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so while all this is going on, go I'm, on, Jay. I'm getting really bad dry eyes while I'm sleeping. <laughs> while, of course you are. There's a gas leak. So while I'm sleeping, like, I'm getting I mean, bad I'm dry eyes. I'm causing a flood, but uh, you know, part of part of your uh, regular life. So, so get this, my eyelids are kind of sticking to my eyes while my eyes are shut. And when I open- Wait, the- your eyelids are sticking to your eyes when yeah. they're shut? Yeah, yeah, because my eyes are getting so dry. And so when I open them, it kind of tears off a piece of my cornea when I open Holy my eyes. Holy shit, what the hell's wrong with you, Jay? <laughs> so, so what is I- your, is, your, is your black cloud taking horse testosterone? <laughs> So that happened uh, a lot, and it was very painful. Is this was was this an effect of the gas? No, this is just a, a new problem. A new problem. I just I just say being Jay, like just kind of a hey, let's throw this in while Jay's like we're I'm barely sleeping, worried about the building blowing up. But while he is sleeping, let's have a hey, hey Jay, you know that thing you do every day, like like thousands of times a day, called blinking. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be painful for you now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. I, I was reading up on what to do, and there's like gels you could put on your eye before you go to sleep. This is a common problem. Yeah, yeah. What is so what is the theory behind, or what's what's why, why is like why is this something happening? Some people sleep with their eyes open, just like a tiny little crack, and maybe that <coughs> combined with the uh, the apnea machine, maybe it's blowing air into the, like that little slit where my eyes are open. It's trying. It God's out. been trying to kill you for years, Jay. <laughs> and uh, so. So I was looking it up, and they said you could get these um, almost like uh, goggle things, uh, like blackout goggles, and it, um, you know, stop the air from hitting your eye and, and the problem. Is this? I, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Is this is the air hitting it related to your CPAP machine? I don't think so, but I I can't because you do have a machine of air blowing on your face the whole night, so is it, it's possible, but I I, I don't know because I'm asleep, so I don't know what's happening. Side effects from CPAP machine may include. Eyes burning when opening them. Mm-hmm. So now, not only do I have the CPAP machine, I have the goggles on top of it. So I look like really cool when I'm going to sleep now. Holy shit. <laughs> um, do you want to do a couple questions of break me up real quick? Sure. Facebook. Unless you have another story, like uh, what else happened when you, when you crack your knuckles, like, like, el- uh, like grandparents die? So I went to the doctor. <laughs> And um, <laughs> about the eye thing? No, I just went to make sure I'm just not. I figured at this point, like, check my blood, make sure I'm not dying because, like, shit's going downhill right now. I just want a full checkup. I haven't had, a, you know, a physical in like two years. So I'm getting blood work. By the way, did you call up Doc, one of your uh, longtime friends, to ask him, hey, my eyes are like 
eating my eyes. My eyes are sticking to my, eye, my eyelids. No, I went to an eye doctor um, when it first happened, and they, they said, use this gel uh, before you go to sleep. You like put some gel on your finger, you dab your eye, and it lubricates it for the night. And It was working for a while, then it stopped working. So. You put gel in your eyes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a special, like... Holy shit, special gel awful. <laughs> So you know, you, you've never used eyeball gel. Apparently you're not living. <laughs> so, so I went to the doctor. I hadn't had a, a, you know, a physical in a while. I did not know what happens at the doctor after you're 40. Um, I, I went to the doctor re- recently and nothing weird happened to me. What happened to you, Jeff? Uh, I got... I'm 42. Nothing weird happened at all. They said my iron numbers were off. That's pretty much all that happened. Oh, lucky they, you. Lucky you. They, 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 the doctor like put on a strap on and raped you. What the fuck happened, Jay? He, he did use two fingers. Yeah. What the fuck? They don't do that when you're forty. After forty, yeah, that's. What... No, they don't. My girlfriend's that's... a nurse. She said after forty, you're supposed to get that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they did the thumbs and they said they stick your, their their fingers in your asshole. Yeah, I got the shocker. The shocker. <laughs> they they you're like, dude, it's been like a half hour. What are you doing back there? I, I wasn't expecting that. Um, so what did he, he said, like, you need to bend over. I need to do this. Yeah. And he said, you know, after 40, you're supposed to get your prostate checked out. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and you're like, dude, why are you using your tongue? I was really just hoping he'd give me some vitamins and tell me to go home. You're like, oh, it keeps getting better. You mentioned to the doctor that your eyes are eating itself. <laughs> no, I forgot. I had so many other things to tell him. <laughs> Anything, anything different? I'm living with a gas leak now. Um, (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, oh, I haven't been sleeping well. He's like, have you been stressed lately? (laughs) I started laughing. Like, well, on top of the new apartment and the the new job, um, you know, I've been living with a gas leak. And uh, maybe, Jay, is there a chance the black mold was keeping you healthy? (laughs) It had the opposite effect that it had on everyone else. (laughs) Okay, so um, that's uh, that's four. We got four out of five stories. Okay, let's go to questions. Okay, uh, Dean writes the Met Gala. Thoughts on that? Personally, I've seen abortions that were less offensive. I didn't really see much of it. I saw there was some stupid outfits, and my understanding is that uh, AOC wore like an expensive. I don't know. There was like a yeah. She wore a dress with "Tax the Rich" on the back. Oh, okay, cool. Um. I don't even know what the Met Gala is, to be honest. I I tend to avoid the things where it's just like a bunch of rich people jerking each other off. So, um, yeah, I well, I have a question. Like, what are you against taxing the rich? Rich, like, there people really need billions of dollars. I mean, there. And- you know what? You go online in the comment section, you'll find it. Like I saw it today. Somebody on Facebook's like, I don't know why everyone's so mad at rich people all of a sudden. I'm like, you don't. Also, I you know what if you if you don't like the Met Gala, be glad they all gathered. Maybe they gave each other COVID. Like, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I uh, I didn't really follow that story either. But so basically, they were everyone was showering with like what was so what was the big deal about it though? Forget forgetting forgetting her dress. What's the big deal about it? I don't know. Since neither of us followed it, I guess it's going to be hard for us to comment on it. I saw. I just. I saw outfits. I don't even know what it's for. I don't know if ever rich people just show up in fancy outfits and laugh at like, the poor people. I, I don't know. I know, but then the don't rich people do all this stuff all the time anyway. Maybe they take a poor person and put them on stage, and they all just stone them. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. The hu- they actually, this is what where the hungry is actually is going on. <laughs> it's just like a slideshow of people starving, and they're all just laughing and drinking their champagne. Uh, Andrew writes, when was the last time you rode a bicycle? Um, I, for me, earlier today, when I rode down the block to find my son to bring him home for dinner. Um, I'm in the suburbs. I ride bikes all the time. Jay? A couple decades, probably like three decades. Um, I'm thinking about getting one now because I have the walking trails by my place, but yeah. uh, I'm thinking of biking there too. Also, uh, like five minutes from here is a highway. And on Sundays, they shut the entire highway down between 10 and 3, and it's just for bicycles. Where would you store the bike? 
Is there like a, there's the building of bike storage? You have to yeah, I have to part. ask my best friend at the office for a spot in the <laughs> bike storage place. But there is a bike storage place. So if you can figure out the bike storage, you should you should totally do it. I'm thinking. Uh, about it. It's really. I mean, obviously you remember riding a bike. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like uh, even as an adult, it's fun to ride a bike. It's like a nice activity. Like. Yeah, I only didn't for so long because. You're in the city. I understand. Yeah, it's it's so crazy and like. Brooklyn and Queens like I don't want to ride a bike there like I feel like it's I'd be more like afraid for my life than like enjoying it yeah I would totally like, you said they, they cut they stay uh they close off the highway I would that'd be awesome to ride a bike there yeah um, <laughs> Andrew wants and, to know if, uh, buying a bicycle counts as a renovation probably in this <laughs> um Andrew writes were you guys fans of Brooklyn Nine-Nine how do you look back on it now that it's, it's finished I have not seen it. Um, not even one episode. I've heard good things about it. Um, it's on my list. I've watched half of the first episode. I'm going to finish that the rest of that first episode at some point. Um, that's as far as I've gone to the show. I, I've heard there are other episodes after the first episode. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start watching that because I didn't really like Shit's Creek. I watched like the first five or six. Um, people, people really like Brooklyn Nine Nine. It's supposed to be a pretty funny show. Yeah, I've heard of. I watched the first like three episodes of Community, and it's okay. Um, I watched I, again. Like I, I also a lot of these shows, like the comedies, I think get a lot better over time. Like they, they need like a season to really get into. I it. heard Community gets much better. Yeah, I watched the first episode of Community. And I was like, eh, I'm gonna sit through this. And that show we Even didn't like supposed- the the new girl. Like I heard it gets hilarious, but we watched like the first. Really? Yeah, we watched the first four episodes and didn't like it, but. Everyone's saying, like, well, it lasted like seven seasons, so I guess people liked it. But I heard that one got really good. She just like jump into the second season. Maybe I heard Olivia Munn has a recurring role in the second season. So I've heard Olivia Munn has a recurring role in John Mulaney's life. Oh my god, what a what a yeah! This happened during the flood too. I found out Olivia <laughs> Munn got pregnant. I'm like, god damn it! That's the worst thing that's happened to me in the last two weeks. I was waiting for Jay to come over. He said he had a gas leak, so I let uh I let John Mulaney plug my gas leak. <laughs> so yeah i'll probably i've been watching perfect strangers but it's leaving hulu in two weeks so i'll probably switch over to brooklyn 99 you're still binging perfect strangers i think it's funny as shit i don't 30 care. years ago i think it's funny as shit how many goddamn seasons of perfect strangers were there eight <laughs> i love like people are talking about shows at work and you're like hey have you guys seen uh you guys see that episode of Brooke, uh, perfect strangers Sorry, what, what's that? Perfect Stranger with Balky, you know, about from 30 years ago. Well, I want to talk about it now. It's a funny episode I watched last night. They're remaking it. Of course they are. Um, what? Uh, how are they changing the cast to be more ethnic? Two black women living in Brooklyn above a yoga studio. I mean, again, that's not really remaking it. That's just a different show. I know. I don't know why you're going to call it Perfect Strangers and just get people mad. Like, just make a different show. I mean, at least, like, you're like, it's an all-female Ghostbusters. At least they, they go with the general theme of busting ghosts. This is just, you can just call it a remake of The Odd Couple while you're at it. Right. How is, it fu- how is this a remake of Perfect Strangers? Is she from uh, uh, Bartokamus or where the hell he's from? Meepos. Meepo, is she from Meepos? No. No guy. If it's not, she's not from Meepos, then fuck that show. Yeah. Are you gonna watch the Wonder Years remake? No. They're just gonna, gonna like race swap every show and just be like, it's a new show. Yeah, I, I guess like everything's just like, well, we'll get the new audience who's interested in watching this and the old people who were like, I wish the show was like more ethnic. Uh it's weird how they keep bringing what's what's next? Are they gonna do who's the boss? They did. Um, uh, I started watching Why the Last Man, and oh, so you didn't you tell me about that comic book? The, the comic's Netflix? amazing, amazing. So I when I, I I saw the uh, the preview for that. I was like, that's the comic. I was I was. It had to be you who told me about it. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's the comic Jay told me about. That sounds kind of cool. I thought about watching it, but I have not watched it yet. How is it? It's pretty slow. I watched the first two episodes. It's pretty slow, okay. which is weird because the comic was like you know you blow through the entire series in like a week but uh i watched like the pre i guess maybe like whatever the uh the preview for the show it seemed like there's a lot of action in the preview 
Yeah, Obviously, that, there's... Every scene from the preview happens in the last five minutes of the first episode. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a lot of action in that one episode, or that five minutes. Yeah. How how is it? How is it? Does, it seems pretty good so far, or besides being slow? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know. I, I'm going to give it a couple more episodes, but I don't know. I, I, and they're trying to add a for, whole for bunch. Those, of... For those who don't know, basically all the men in the world die except for one man. Mm -hmm. um, and women rule the world. Um, I don't know what else happens, but it was, a, it was based on a very popular comic book. There, there's like a bunch of male characters. And I like, thought I thought all the men die. Yeah, they added a whole new storyline that isn't in the comic about trans characters so like they're like you know i guess they used to be women and now they're men but it's just male actors and they're just like yeah i took testosterone and now i'm alive and i'm like there's like six of them and i'm like there's a lot of men in this show considering it's supposed <laughs> to be like the last man but the entire cast of men <laughs> yeah it's like i don't know um okay so they went for uh a trans theme. Great. Let me know how that goes, Jay. If it gets better, then maybe I'll check check it out. Mm -hmm. Are they going to redo um, Sopranos with an all trans cast? Uh, maybe, maybe they're also adding ish to like every show. You know how and they have what? like black blackish. Yeah, they have blackish. What do they also have? Mixed ish. What What is that? I don't know. I just saw the name and I was like, well, I'm not watching that. Well, that's like everything's plus now. It's like Apple Plus, Discovery Plus, Hulu Plus. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna... Ish. Mixed ish. You know what? Uh, you know what actually would be a good show then? Hmm. It'd be called your show Jew ish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's grown ish. What, what, what is that? It's about a teenager and. Mixed dish is, uh, I think I so I watched way too much TV growing up, and I knew everything that was on TV Monday through for all the primetime shows. Now I have no idea what's on television. There's do you think kid, do you think kids today know what's on like the way I knew growing up, like everything that was going to be on primetime, like at least the network, the networks. Do kids kids don't know that stuff anymore, right? I think a lot of kids strictly watch like youtube and twitch like i don't by the way I, I i started going on uh tiktok holy shit that's stuff's addictive tiktok is wildly entertaining i can't believe how entertaining that that side is. i don't know how TikTok. i don't know how i don't i don't understand how like tiktok hasn't just been the like side hasn't ended like there... it's just like, everyone can just stare at their phone just watching like the only time people will like will, will like eat or breathe will be when they're like Battery dead. Got to charge this. I'll eat and go back to TikTok. Let's do a, let's pitch a show called Jay the Last Man. And it's about I'm the last man on earth that doesn't have TikTok and I won't watch it. <laughs> I had a, fr I have a friend who was uh, working on writing a book and he's trying to promote it on TikTok. He's like, could you like start or like like it or whatever on there so I can get like to help promote it. Um, and I was like, oh yeah. Okay. I get that means I have to download TikTok. And then I, then I looked at his video and like liked it. And then I was like, Oh, well, that one's interesting. That was I've heard, and I've heard about the thing with TikTok is that all the, their algorithm, whatever, is amazing and makes it really entered. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And the so I remember Zach, my son, was doing these videos on Snapchat. And all the things on Snapchat were like okay. TikTok takes it to a whole new level. There's some pretty clever stuff on there. I mean, I swore I'd never go on TikTok when I think I told this story right. I was walking around in Queens, and I stepped, I guess, on a piece of tape, and I had this long, like four foot piece of tape like dragging behind me oh and you said that you told him the show and you were a part of a tiktok video I, I turned around and some guy's like filming me he's like who's going on tiktok and i'm like why would anybody watch that and he's like um, he, he like waits with a smile like for me to go what's your tiktok i gotta see the video of me with tape on my foot uh, i mean this is the end of society but uh i have to say i even though i'd want to i'd want to be like a hater for that kind of thing um I went on there. I'm like, this is at least a lot better than Facebook. This is a lot more entertaining than Facebook. Of the social medias, TikTok's a lot better. Not better is like for us. I mean, they're all shitty and terrible for us. But this is it's a lot more entertaining. I'm telling you, Jay, 
go on TikTok and you'd be like, ah, oh, well, here's that. That's not going to waste hours. You're always like no clue about pop culture or technology or anything. And then you're like the TikTok spokesperson. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Did not see that coming at all. I have to say, I still, I don't watch a lot on YouTube. That, by the way, that, uh, what's that, that rapper, the freestyle rapper you told me about? What's yeah. his name? Um, what's, what's the guy's name? The guy's Harry, name. Harry Mack. Harry Mack. Fucking awesome, by the way. Like, uh, absolutely. That was, I was like, I was like, that guy's freaking, in. and I, what services he go on? Like, where's he finding these people? Omegle. Have you heard of Omegle? Uh, only because of him. That's okay. the, that's the new, um, uh, uh, chat roulette. Okay. Yeah. Um, our show, our show ending soon. Our show is ending soon. Okay, but I gotta say, Jay, download TikTok and you report back. You can delete it. Just try it for a little bit and just report back. Okay, I won't. But okay, come on, you you, you could just download, it, Jay. What? A, come on. I wouldn't mind doing an Omega episode. I, I don't even know what that means. It's like cat roulette. So we would just go into different rooms and just see whoever's there and talk to them. Okay. Sure. Why not? We could be like Harry Mack. Is this just gonna be is just gonna be dudes like jacking off? Well, Harry Mack doesn't find he finds normal people. Does he? Or is it or is it like or like most like you're like you're like you're like, oh how is that's cool. You used to go on there and find anyone like eighty percent of the eighty percent of it's just dudes jacking off. I have to like I barely every once in a while I find a person. So you found um, TikTok, and I'm sending you like freestyle rap videos. I don't know what's happened to this show. <laughs> I gotta say, I it's it's uh, TikTok. Was, I the other night I wasted like a good 45 minutes to an hour just like on there. I was like, oh shit, I gotta get off this fucking thing. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a bunch of emails, but uh, a couple of them are uh, Bry related. So we're gonna wait for Bry to be on the show. Um, Bry's uh, Bry's currently. Um, Doing his, his TikTok channel. That's why he's on the show. There's a good one uh, from Lorenzo, but I think it's going to take a while. Uh, so okay. we'll do that next episode. Uh, but thank you for the emails, and we will read them next episode. The Brink of Sanity at gmail.com. We are Brink of Sanity 3 on Twitter. Um, also, Lorenzo said one episode cuts off after 10 minutes. So I will re upload that this week as well. And um, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash The Brink of Sanity. I believe. And um, I think that's it. There's like two shirts left. So maybe, you know, go to brink of sanity show.com. And um, these are more valuable than any NFT you could buy. These yeah. shirts, like you can on the resale market. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, you could do that. And it's uh, patreon.com slash the brink of sanity. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thanks for joining. Thanks for everybody in the chat. Um, you could hit the follow button. You get a notification when we go live. Twitch.tv slash crumpled bacon. And um, yeah. Yeah, if you follow us, you can also subscribe with Amazon Prime. It's a free subscription. And free helps, subs helps the subscription. Help the show. Um, yeah. So you can we can pay for us to go on a Megal. Yep. All right. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Happy trails to the bomba, to the bomba, to the bomba.